Well, it has been a while, folks, and yeah, I've been busy with work, and basically, I really have time to play RuneScape that much, and yeah, basically, we've got some, you know, corp there, and that boss is a pain in the ass, because I haven't gotten any drop from it besides the sigil that I don't, uh, that I already have, and yeah, clockwork suit here, and some more penguin quests, and yeah, I think we just have to have like a few more and then we're finished with the quest line unless they added more with the quests. And it's quite really, you know, this quest is really good and it's quite easy. I think it's the place where you get to, you know, some stuff there. But yeah, we got ourselves some more quests here and basically this one was a uh, Tsar and yeah, back to the dungeon too. To why two? Because, uh, 2 is quite easy and, I mean, it's quite annoying because of, um, Astarn and Varric Lef because how laggy it is and how annoying it is. But, yeah, compared to the money, it's really good because, um, ED1 has been dropping. But, yeah, we also got some more Peng quests here. And that guy was pretty hilarious because, uh, you know, we sit on him and we just swim. I mean, he, you know, basically swim all the way back to the zoo. And yeah, basically, we got some more, um, quests here. And yeah, was is quite, and yeah, that's basically required for the great extinction. And like, why am I saying the great extinction? The extinction quest. And yeah, basically, we got more skills here and I yeah, still haven't gotten a barge codex, which is fairly annoying because, you know, we need barge codex because, uh, you know, we're kind of losing money on Elite Dungeon 2 because, you know, death costs like 10 mil each. And yeah, you know, and it's quite, you know, takes a while, especially with, you know, even if you have enough, you know, good amount, you, ha you actually have to do extreme weight, I mean, extreme profit to actually get there but yeah in it let's you know finish this quest here um the extinction let's talk about that the extinction quest is quite nice i wish they could have done better with the uh, the rewards but they did add one thing that's really good and i'm glad they should you know lock some behind like quests and stuff for that you know and the reason why is because certain stuff should have requirements. For example, like boss requirements should have a lock behind it. For example, it should be locked like certain skills and certain levels. Because, you know, sure, everyone have access to it. But at the same time, the skill levels of those players are not similar to the one that's, you know, that can do those quests. <clears throat> You know, especially if they design it to be both, which is going to be paralyzing because one will say this is too easy. One will say this is too hard. Especially how our Elder God Russell has been. All I say is the boss has been fairly easy, especially the normal mode. But how they done it with Zuck is really nice. <clears throat> And the reason why I like Zuck and is because you know there's two different phase, uh, there's two, two different things. One is don't basically normal, where you know it's basically a normal fight kill. But the other one is like a hard mode fight kill, where you know it's really hard and stuff for that. And basically the reward for it is really rewarding compared to Art Glacier and what's the name. Uh, I forgot what the Dragon King called again. I think his name is Aslan? No, not Aslan. What is his name? I forgot what the boss. It's the the Northern one. Uh, Frank. Um, from not Raksha. It's the one that took over Raksha. I forgot what his name. But yeah, that boss, it's... I mean, it's quite annoying. But I mean, Karapik, there we go. Yeah, uh, Karapik is, you know, there's a easy and hard mode, and I think the the easy one, you still can get some drop, but the hard one is only in stuff, but yeah, it's quite, quite disappointing, I'll say the Elder God Wars, but I'm hoping the fifth boss is actually difficult, there is no, you know, hold back on, you know, 
mechanics and there's actually you know stakes involved where players actually have to learn it like i think player uh for example raksha pre-nerf raksha was it took them about around two to three days to actually get good and some of them took them one day because they've been playing good but it took me about a week to actually learn the the normal it was i mean back then i was really really it wasn't that good but i'm still not that good but same time you know elevated players to actually improve where you know play switches exist and stuff like that but yeah you know they should they should do that more you know players should improve over time and bosses you know get changes uh, to fit that but yeah here basically i'll show you guys how to get to the island and yeah you guys already saw how to view the ring apparently you just right click and view it i wish they told you that but look at it on the wiki and i didn't know but yeah that's a waste because it doesn't make sense that players can view it but yeah basically this is the place where you know space looks nice and kind of glad they only made a small island because this island basically got destroyed and got doomed by what's that called uh by the egg and yeah basically that's uh you know if you've been reading the dialogue here you just already uh, see it what i mean but yeah it's called the extinction quest for example and we just basically destroyed a planet and to let them but yeah basically Saren, Zeros, and the eggs are gone. Uh, Jazz and Carapac is also gone. So, on their, basically, Dragon Ken is free now from the Carapac's influence. So, that's good. But, yeah, basically, you just go in there. And, yeah, this is how you basically in get the ring. To go here after you talk to them once. And, yeah, exit. And talk to him again and basically it will give you the gem that will give you that but yeah I wish you know this gem was permanently in your bank how the Fontanex ring is and the reason why I, I wish they have this permanently in your bank is because a you know you, you lose a bank space for a damage increase permanently which is nice but you know you know to actually you know keep the dps but in check but seems that they're gonna be you know removing items and stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna say it's, uh, it's quite nice because i don't have to worry about some stuff but i have more extra space now i can do more i can go ham on damage so yeah just basically the end of this video and next time we're gonna be doing some new stuff in my youtube channel and it's gonna be doing a bunch of more quite interesting stuff but in the meantime see you guys later and have a good day and thanks for watching